Hi, my name is Bonnie Brunel and uh, I would like to talk to you about my electric upright bass. I designed this instrument trying to replace the cumbersome acoustic bass. The problem when you go around the world sometime, if uh, you're going from a big city to a small city, they have smaller plane and I cannot take the big, you know, acoustic bass. So uh, this is a lot smaller, you know, and easier to carry around. And uh, it's accepted on most plane, you know, because it's only uh, with the case, but 20 by 10 by 67. So it goes on any plane usually. So on top of that, you know, nowadays you have those uh, drummers that play really loud. So I can play louder than them because I have no feedback problem. I just raise the level. <laughs> this is all mahogany and it's cultivated. It's from Indonesia and I'm not cutting any rainforest, which is great. Same thing with the Ebony Makassar fingerboard and the bridge, which is the same way. The piezo system that I have is something that was designed quite a while back. We were trying to find the best way to do for acoustic bass a, a pickup that would pick up the sound that, without making it electric bass sounding. And uh, I'm using the same system on this, uh, on this bass. And uh, for the preamp, I ask the amazing Russ Alley is the one who invented the acoustic amplifier. You know, the 360, like uh, Jacob was using, was, you know, designed by Russ Alley. So I asked Russ to design the preamp for me, and uh, we really dialed it exactly for acoustic bass sounding, not electric bass. So this is a really, really good preamp for that. So uh, because of that, you get that sound with a 50 cycle attack. That kind of sound that you get the first and then mm, you get the sound going on you know. without the a compressor or whatever you get that real sound like acoustic bass do you know the first thing you hear on the acoustic bass sound is is that attack you know so i have that with the, the pickup and the preamp and all that so uh, i also you know design instead of putting the body i decided to put it on the stand because at the beginning i had a, you know, the piece going out from the bottom and then I had a, to put a piece right there to try to hold it, putting a piece for the thing and I decided, okay, no, let's do something that makes more sense. You know, you have an instrument that is smaller, you may as well put it on the stand, you know, like that it doesn't move at all. And then I just put a couple of dots right there for the octave. <laughs> that you pay in tune even better <laughs> than when trying to figure out putting the forearm on the body and all that and uh, most acoustic bass players are thinking oh man you know it's gonna be no no it takes you like a couple of days or a week maximum you get used to it it's not that bad uh, these the necks are like a d-neck you know a d-neck is when you put your thumb on the hill right there if you put your finger here you have a d on the g-string okay and uh, uh, this is a 41 and a quarter scale, which is the standard. Everybody use three quarter size basses. You know, this only few people are tempting using four, <laughs> four, four, but those are make big basses. All the standard that everybody uses three quarter, and the scale for that is 41 and a quarter inches, and that's what it is. You know, so for somebody who played acoustic bass, you know, if you know where your positions, you know, is going to be the same. Now, because I wanted to have people that play electric bass to be able to play it, then not only I put dots, couple of dots here in the front, like you have the C, D, E right there, but I put all the fret marker on the side. Like that, if you are somebody who never played before, then you can just look and try to pra practice and get used to the stretching, because that's what it is basically, you know, when you play an acoustic bass, because of the 41 and a quarter inch scale. So it gets, you have to stretch a little bit and uh, you know, you can practice and play. And on top of it, I made it that it's pretty low right now. This one is kind of, uh, it's kind of low, this one as well, but uh, you know, I put wheels right there. You can raise it as high as you want. You know, some people, they like to dig in, you know, they like to, have, you know, so uh, they want it higher. So it's pretty easy, you turn, equally on each side. These, as I say, this bass is a 41 and a quarter scale, so these are actual 
acoustic bass strings. These are the top of the line labella strings. This is a gloss black one, you know, and uh, this one has a particularly very low action. As I said, you know, I like to have an electric bass player to be able to play that, even if they never play any acoustic bass before. You know, most of the time people are trying an acoustic bass and uh, the action is so high, they cannot play at all. This one, these basses can go very low. This one is really, really low. It's about a, maybe a, a, not even a quarter inch there, you know, so... Uh, it's like butter. So, this bass sounds great with the fingers, you know. The sustain is very big sustain. But what's great is like if you pick up the bow, you can play with the bow with it. So I'm going to pick up the bow and do it. sound, you know, you go to the, on the upper little register. Almost sound like a cello right there. It's a really beautiful sound. Most electric upright bass, you know, people, they can't really play with the bow. It doesn't sound that good. This is really, really nice. Really nice sounding, you know, bass with the bow, you know. I personally think it sounds even better then the acoustic one, I really love it. So anyhow, so you can play with the bow or play with the fingers without having to change anything, alright?